right, once again, thank you and welcome to our Lunch and Learn session. Um, we are just getting started here um, in office here. So uh, before we get started, just to introduce myself, my name is Paige Hanna. I am the Assistant Director of Marketing here at the Access Accelerator, and I'll be your moderator for today. Um, we're going to go through the overview document that you can find on our website at accessaccelerator.org, um, and we'll break down elements of this overview document. If you have any questions, you can absolutely drop them in the questions tab. If you're on Facebook, you could drop them in the comments, and we will try to get to all of you in this brief lunch and learn session. Um, we also have with us today, who will be breaking down this uh, program, our interim executive director, Ms. Samantha Roll, uh, who's excited about this program, um, I guess a subset to our um, partnership with the Royal Caribbean Group. And so I will now introduce Ms. Samantha Roll to take it away and tell us a little bit more about this program and what it is that we can expect when this application launches on July 1st. Samantha? Thank you so much, Paige. Hello to all. And as Paige mentioned, you know, um, Access Accelerator once again has partnered with Royal Caribbean. Um, and in this partnership, you know, in providing training and funding opportunities for small uh, businesses in the tourism sector, this particular initiative, which is the Royal Caribbean Kickstarter uh, program, uh, pathway for startups. Um, this particular initiative is open for entrepreneurs on the Berry Islands, New Providence, and Grand Bahama. So Royal Caribbean Kickstarter program is designed for the most innovative tourism-related business ideas and ventures to be supported and launched by us, Access Accelerator. Um, the program itself has three distinct program goals. Uh, it's about opportunity. So to create a pathway for Bahamian startups to become eligible for the Royal Caribbean program, to, to empower or provide education, I should say, tailored entrepreneurial education and training to guide participants in business development, and of course, innovation, to encourage innovation and diversity within the Bahamian tourism sector. This program, as it's designed for startups, have a particular elements. We call it the boot camp elements. Um, and basically, the selected applicants will participate in an eight week intensive training program on important entrepreneurship, innovation, and business topics to develop their startups uh, to investment ready business models. I mean, this is the most exciting time. You know, Royal Caribbean has been um, a great partner with Asics Accelerator. As Paige would have mentioned, we started with the initial program and we've come back um, to support in terms of the second program here. So highlights of the boot camp, you know, is really three distinct areas where we're asking for applicants or selected participants to be prepared to invest the time that's needed to attend basically two virtual classes per week. Um, and it can, you know, um, go up to maybe 10 hours um, over a course of a week um, to interact um, with those in the training to access and gain the entrepreneurial education across a number of topics. And then at the completion of the training, there's a pitch competition and participants will pitch their ideas to compete for funding awards, um, whereby the most innovative and viable ventures will receive funding. And the third component of, or third highlight of the boot camp is the assessment. So participants will be, you know, assessed on their startups impact and innovation, viability, scalability, sustainability, and capacity displayed through their pitch um, to be considered for the pre-seed funding awards. And of course, everyone wants to know, you know, what are the awards. So let's talk about the funding awards. If applicants are selected to participate in the bootcamp, they will have the opportunity um, to pitch for pre-seed funding to launch their businesses. And what we have done is we've 
allowed for several categories of pre-seed funding, um, anywhere between $5,000 up to $15,000 in award. And so, you know, how we've broken it down is that there would be um, X number of persons per category. So for example, for $5,000, we've designated that for two awardees uh, for pre-seed uh, funding of a combination of a grant and loan um, award. Again, it goes between 5,000, uh, 7.5,000, so 7,500, 10,000, and of course I said up to 15,000 um, in awards uh, funding for or to launch your business. So how do you apply? Um, so we wanna talk about application requirements. And one of the reasons why we're doing this live info session is to give as much lead time as possible for participants to prepare for when the application opens. And so as part of the application requirements, we're asking for you to provide a detailed business plan. So no, please don't equate a detailed business plan to mean that we're asking for a 50, 60, 80 page document. A detailed business plan really speaks to some of those key elements. So an executive summary and making sure that you can um, illuminate your concept on paper. Um, we would want you to highlight your financial projections. We would want you to talk about the market itself in which you wish to enter. So those are some of the detailed concepts within a business plan that is needed. The other thing that's being required is while we're asking for a detailed business plan, you know, we're asking for a lean canvas model. And what that essentially means is it's really a one page visual um, highlighting key concepts of your business plan. So it's a one page snapshot essentially. And so, you know, we'll provide some of these templates and guidance along the way, and they'll be uploaded to our website. But again, you know, we wanted to be able to go through the requirements in advance before the open of the application. So those are the two things um, in terms of application requirements, but there are a few other um, aspects that we wish to, to have. One is a one minute elevator pitch video. And no, we're not asking you to go out and hire a production company to do your pitch video. We're just asking to see from a visual standpoint and hear about your business concept. So you can do this at home, you know, a one minute uh, pitch video about your concept, your ideas, you know, the use of the funds and how it solves a problem or how you believe that your startup idea is going to change or revolutionize um, a, a, a problem. The other thing is a valid passport photo page and an NIB card. So we would need copies of those elements to be um, uploaded to the application. So again, those are three key things that we're requesting as ter in terms of the application requirements. So person would say, okay, I get it. These are the things that we need um, in terms of the application, but am I eligible? What is the criteria for that? So let's talk about that and run through that quickly. I would have mentioned that this is a Kickstarter or pathway for startups. So yes, it has to be a startup business. A startup business for us means that it's newly formed um, and not operational for an operational for more, not operational, apologies, for more than 12 months. So startup business only, not operational for more than 12 months. Um, it must offer products and services for domestic and foreign tourists, including but not limited to a few of those that we have listed, accommodations, tour experience, taxi services, food and beverage, cosmetic made with natural, um, uh, materials, performing arts, you know. Um, we've also seen where there are some services such as destin destination weddings that would definitely fall within this eligibility criteria. Another thing that you must consider is that must be located or service in the islands of Grand Bahama, the Berry Islands, and New Providence. Must be Bahamian owned, and provide all documents listed under the application requirements section and must commit to the eight week training. That's the eligibility criteria. 
So let's talk a little bit about the process. Now, we would have highlighted the process between one to six steps. And without going through every single um, step in detail, but highlighting some of the key things. So step one really talks about those interested entrepreneurs or interested persons must submit their application forms with the required documents or requests um, beginning Friday, July 1. So yes, we've already started to share the information, again, providing as much lead time as possible for you to prepare those requirements. And the minute that we open the application, you are ready to go. The application will remain open until July 15th, 2022, which is a Friday. After submission, applicants will receive an email notification on the status of the application by July 29th. The distinction in the dates will allow for us to properly assess the business plan, the lean canvas, and all of the other requirements that have been provided. Step two really talks about the application screening process and the fact that we want to make sure that during our first level and second level review that we have selected those participants who will carry on uh, to participate in this program. Step three talks about the top applicants um, who will be shortlisted and sent an email notification of all the particular details to partake in the program itself. Step four talks about applicants that are not selected to partake in the program and will be notified via email communication and invited to apply for other existing programs or future programs. Step five speaks to those selected cohort participants. Uh, it gives particular details around the boot camp, the pitch competition, and if you are an awardee upon the conclusion of the pitch competition. And step six, just really talk about our collaboration and partnership around marketing and promotion of the business venture itself, um, along with Access Accelerator. It has been a pleasure to go through um, the overall process, the requirements for the application, the timeline around preparing what is needed for the required um, application, and then also the opening of the application itself. Um, you can certainly find the program overview document at our website, accessaccelerator.org, for greater details. And we are more than happy to address any questions. Paige, should I send this back to you? Sure. Um, so thank you so much for that, Samantha. Um, once again, you can find this document on our website at accessaccelerator.org. Um, we do have two Royal Caribbean programs listed on the website right now. So make sure that you click the Royal Caribbean Kickstarter um, program. I know that we had a few persons on Facebook that were having trouble hearing a couple of your points. So if there are any specific questions based on the overview that you want to um, re-ask or bring up, we'd be happy to, to reiterate or go over those again. But I guess, um, Samantha, a question that I have is, you know, we talk about this being a pathway for startups, but we're specifically looking for some innovative ideas. So I guess in your opinion, or what would you call an innovative business or in, in, in that realm? What, what does that look like? So let me say innovation or innovative idea. We're really, we're really looking at new concepts um, and how we are improving the way that we do business or a business concept or idea. And so some would say, well, it may involve technology, digitization to some form. It could be an app, um, you know, that may be related to destination weddings. It could be where there's some new form of transportation for domestic and foreign tourists here. So there's different ways of making sure that it's, 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 it's new, it's fresh, it's innovative. Uh, we certainly, you know, don't want to just look at perhaps some of the typical food and beverage concepts, but within even that uh, concept, there are ways that you can come with some type of um, innovative business uh, um, view that would be considered. 
All right, thank you so much for that answer. Um, so someone is asking again, what is considered a startup? What do we consider a startup? Yes, so for us here at Access Accelerator, a startup is any business operating less than a year or less than 12 months. Okay, and I guess just to break down again now, this is a another program aside from yes. the one that we currently have running. So for those who may have missed it in the beginning, um, I guess just break down a little bit for us, what's the difference between this particular program and the former program that we had, or maybe even why we decided to, to go this route? Great, great question. So the Royal Caribbean program, the initial program that was launched last year, July, um, was really structured to be a recovery program and it was geared towards existing businesses um, within the tourism hospitality sector and again it was still within the location of the berry islands grand bahama new providence but it really was geared towards existing businesses as some type of recovery program for those entrepreneurs and businesses that needed that type of assistance um, in that program that is still ongoing, so please, again, you can access that information at our website. Um, but collecting the data around that particular program, we realized that, you know, the high ineligibility was around startups. It was about 82% of our um, eligibility uh, grouping. And so we thought, in collaboration with Royal Caribbean, then, you know, we want to be able to keep the momentum going. We want to be able to support small businesses and entrepreneurs in their dreams. And so let's craft a program around startups. You know, as we assessed the applications that were coming in, and we saw that there were some unique diamonds in the rough, we wanted to provide that avenue for startup businesses to also access funding in order to, to, to fulfill their dreams. And hence, we have the Royal Caribbean Kickstarter program, which is a pathways for startup. And so Royal Caribbean in the first program, you know, went ahead and provided $250,000 for that program. And again, being a supportive partner uh, with Access Accelerator, provided an additional funding of $250,000 to support this program, the Kickstarter program. Okay, and I know a question that we get sometimes, um, and I, I think we should address it, is why is it limited to the Berry Islands, Grand Bahama, and New Providence. Yeah, so as part of our partnership, you know, that's where Royal Caribbean uh, essentially have their um, base or connection um, and their business. And so they wanna be able to have impact um, in those areas where they are resident, so to speak. All right, um, we're getting some feedback. One question we have here is, if you want to do farming and fishing, you have a boat and animals, you need more than 20, let's say 70 can all be pulled into one. Um, I'm not quite sure, maybe if that could be reworded. Um, if you're talking specifically about farming and fishing, if it has to do with tourism, that might be a, 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 a personal message question. So maybe if you could send us a message so I could get some clarity on um, your specific business, uh, that may help with answering your question um, to the Facebook user there. Um, if we have no other questions, um, I guess, uh, Samantha, while we wrap it up, because this is a lunch and learn, I know some people would like to enjoy you know, at least half an hour of their lunch. So if you have any closing thoughts, any closing words um, when it comes to, wait, sorry, I see a question in the, okay, this is a good question as well. So someone is asking, what's the difference between the Access Accelerator program and this particular program? So the difference is, the Access Accelerator program is our flagship program that has a guaranteed loan component involved. Um, with that program, you know, there are several steps within a process. Um, anyone can apply, can access that information on our website. But that program provides funding at certain thresholds and ceilings. 
um, up to 500,000. It requires certain things such as a business plan. If you have one, we provide business plan review. If you don't, we have a business plan writer program where our professional writers can assist you in creating that business plan. And essentially what happens is that we package everything up and we send it off to our group of financial uh, institution, our partnering group. And it is up to them to assess and, you know, uh, indicate whether or not they want to assist with providing funding that is guaranteed by Access Accelerator. When I say guaranteed, we all know when you go to a commercial bank or any other financial institution, there is a question of collateral, okay? Because you're essentially borrowing um, for an item for a business. And so there is a question of collateral. So Access Accelerator, um, as part of our program, offers um, a guarantee or offers that collateral in that sense up to 75%. Um, to the lending partner. And that's essentially what that program is about. Um, the Royal Caribbean program is specifically related to um, tourism, uh, hospitality sector. It's specifically related to the Berry Islands, Grand Bahama and New Providence. And for this particular program, which is the Royal Caribbean Kickstarter program, it's specifically related to startups who've been operating for less than 12 months. All right, thank you for that, Sarah. We have one last question. Well, I think it might be two. Another question here is, will boot camp attendees receive access to any additional funding after if they are not chosen? So we know that we have funding awards depending on you know, the top performances for that pitch competition and the assessments. So what happens to the other um, attendees of the program and what, I guess, benefits do they get? Although, you know, education is a big a big part of this program, but I'll let you go ahead and answer that. Yes, Paige, as you know, entrepreneurial training is a reward within itself. And so, you know, going through the eight week entrepreneurial boot camp is essential and critical um, for your startup, understanding business concepts, you know, being exposed to new things because it would involve um, experienced persons, it would involve um, those experts in the industry, it would involve those who would have succeeded and perhaps in their journey to succeed may have failed a few times. Um, but the other aspect of that is, yes, we only have X number of awardees um, across the funding thresholds. And so what we are prepared to do is for those that will be in the pitch competition, um, provide in the pool of judges and participants um, who will be attending and viewing um, some angel investors. And so there may be some investors who are sitting in um, listening to your pitch. And if you're not one of those awardees, there may be an investor there that's prepared to take on, uh, whether it's equity or otherwise, um, that investment uh, based on the type of innovative idea that's presented. All right, thank you, Sam. The, the questions are rolling in now. So um, another question we have is, do you need a business license to enroll in this program? So it is for startups. Um, do you need a business license prior to applying to this program? So you don't necessarily need a business license um, to apply for this program because as you go through the boot camp, we're going to help flesh out your business plan. We're going to help get you sorted in terms of at the end of the eight week period, you know, um, we would have uh, your business license and assist you um, how we how we can assist you in acquiring the business license. But I wanted to be able to say that outrightly, if it's a startup concept, and when we say startup concept, it could be very well just an idea that you have to you've been operating for less than 12 months. So for those that have been operating for less than 12 months, you would have a business plan already. I'm sorry, a business license already. Um, nonetheless, a business license is not required to apply for this program. All right, we have a Facebook question. Uh, this user wants to know if an individual has a business plan already being viewed by the SBDC and waiting, can a person also seek another idea through the Kickstarter as well? So from my understanding, this would be a different business um, 
And so they want to know, is it possible with a different idea, a different concept, a different business, if they're able to uh, seek or apply to the Kickstarter program? Yes. So we did not want to restrict um, with this program, particularly with the element of the most innovative idea within the tourism sector. Um, and so, yes, that individual, while they may have a, a separate business plan or a separate business concept currently being reviewed, within the confines or within the requirements of this program, they can apply uh, to this program as well. All right, and a follow up to that question is additionally, similar to the SBDC, would the Kickstarter allow a business business development plan to be funded as well through, I guess, the funding awards to see if it's viable. So I'm, I'm guessing for this specific program, if you're asking that once awarded, if the money could be used towards a business development plan, um, I think that's what they're asking, but I know we also have pathways for business plan development um, that you can access as well. So Sam, I don't right. know if you wanna um, dive a little deeper into that. Yeah, so I would have mentioned before, uh, you know, we offer as just part of our business advisory services or business development services, um, uh, professional business plan writers through our business plan writer program. For this particular Royal Caribbean Kickstarter program, however, the eight week boot camp is going to help to, you know, flesh out your business plan even further, flesh out and prepare you for the pitch competition. Um, and if you are selected to carry on and in terms of, you know, once you've submitted an application and you're selected to participate in this program, you go through that eight week boot camp. And then if you are an awardee, then that's the pre-seed funding that's going to launch if you have not launched this ideas yet or provide funding towards if you are operating less than 12 months towards the, the concept um, and, and the sustainability of that business if you're operating less than 12 months already. Yeah, just to piggyback off that, Sam, I think um, mm -hmm. the important thing to note with this particular program is that uh, with the eight week boot camp, we anticipate that attendees will be intimately involved with developing their uh, right. businesses. And so that business plan that maybe you would want for someone else to create, we at the end of this boot camp, we want you to be able to have that um, document already ready. But within our services, within our normal program, if say again, you would like for that to be reviewed or to be looked at or to be worked on a little bit more, that um, is also an option because that is always a part of our services. Um, yes. and so just wanted to make that note there. And I think we have one last question. I believe that's the last question. Um, someone wants to know, is this entrepreneurial bootcamp similar to what was offered um, by IDB Lab? I'm I'm not 100% sure because I'm not aware of that, but Sam, I'm not sure if you have any. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not, I can't speak specifically to what was offered by IDB Lab in the past, but I can tell you the curriculum, if I may call it that, for this boot camp um, was really thought of um, and a lot of thought consideration was given to, you know, what topics, the facilitators, um, the entire program overall. So, uh, you know, without fear of correction, I believe that this boot camp is going to be distinctly different. All right. I mean, we have one more question that I think may need to be a separate conversation through um, possibly our family island manager, but asking about farmers of North and just able to sell produce in the Berry Islands, and if so, how will be able to ship? So that's a little bit of a logistical question. It sounds like um, that would probably fit better with, like I said, our family island manager and or our cluster program up in North Andrus. So yeah. again, um, if this Facebook user, if you could please send us a private message, we can get you um, to the appropriate person that could better answer that question. Um, but just to wrap it up here, like I said, I didn't want to take too much of your time for your lunch break, um, but we are definitely here to answer any questions. I hope that this has um, provided a little bit more clarity for you. This program, we're really looking to um, 
basically excite people to come up with those solutions, come up with those innovative ideas that could take our tourism sector to the next level. And we're really excited to be doing this with one of our partners who has been so supportive um, of us and the recovery, especially of the tourism industry. And so um, we want you all to set your calendars, make sure that you're looking out for when that application launches. But in the meantime, again, you know, read, reread, ask the questions that you need to ahead of time. You have about a little more than I want to say 10 days now to um, gather up your information and have everything ready to go so that when you submit, you know, you're 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 ready for um, this program. And so we thank you again for joining us for this lunch and learn session. We will be having like more information about this program and more programs. Um, so this is not we're not limited to just this one option. We have a lot of things in the pipeline that we're excited about. Um, you can continue to check all of these options out to see which one fits best for you. And um, we will we will be um, here willing to help asking for contact information. So yes, you can email us at helpdesk at sbdcbahamas.com. Um, that will enter you into our ticketing system. Our ticket system on our help center is one of the best ways to um, get through to us because we're able to track your, your first um, engagement with us. We're able to track who answered and, and how we got um, to closing your tickets. So if you can go ahead and either visit our help center um, on our website or email helpdesk at sbdcbahamas.com. Um, and again, check us out at accessaccelerator.org. You can find all of our contact information there, um, whether that be in Grand Bahama, New Providence, any of those other islands. Um, we have all of our contact information listed there. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Samantha, for breaking down um, this program. And we look forward to seeing all your innovative ideas come July 1st. Um, so be sure to stay tuned, reach out to us if you have any questions, and we will be reposting this broadcast onto our website and our Facebook page. So if you happen to miss it or anybody who missed it or only heard pieces of it, um, we, we have recorded it and we will be um, reposting it. So thank you again for joining us and stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you all.